This is a walker, and it allows you to make any build walk like a human. But what if we made a walker that copies the player's movement? Well, that might just be the greatest walker of all time. So the way we're going to start this build is by building a perfect copy of our legs. And the way I'm going to do that is just simply standing on a block and then using a chair to center myself. Just like so. To make sure I don't move, I'm just going to glue my player stuck. That looks about right. And we just want to make sure that everything is matching perfectly. Okay, rotate a little bit more. And yeah, we just want to do this exact same thing for every single piece. All right, I think that right there is looking pretty good. Now, I actually don't remember if I should also have a separate foot, but I think I actually might have to. So in that case, I actually got to do that next. And it looks like I might have made a small mistake. Uh, when you place a block inside of your character like that, sometimes you can, uh, yeah, you can shrink a little bit. <laughs> Now, I know this is not perfectly accurate as in the shape of my legs, but we only need the perfect rotation. So that right there should totally do. Now, to make sure everything is placed properly, I'm just going to sit down and stand back up and see if I'm perfectly aligned. So all I need to do is place a chair, sit down and break it. And yeah, dude, that is perfect. So next up, we got to figure out exactly which mechanic we want to use to make this entire build walk. And actually, I think I have a pretty good idea. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take this exact little build right here and I'm going to clone it and take these exact measurements and build parts that are 10 times bigger. So I can figure out the skill right here and I'm just going to 10x that for all the numbers. Yeah, okay. So then there you go. That is 10 times bigger. That is actually really big. I think I might have to go 5x. Yeah, okay. That right there is looking a little bit better. All right. So there we have those exact same pieces, but obviously five times bigger and in the exact same rotations. Dude, that's already looking so cool. Now I'm going to try to put these in the exact same position they are here. So just a little bit of moving should do. So, all right, that right there is looking pretty much perfect. So, these right here are going to be our actual legs. So, we're actually going to need two of each. Actually, the other side needs to be mirrored. So, I'm going to mirror them right here and mirror just like so. All right, there we go. <laughs> Dude, that is already looking so goofy. All right, so that right there is where we're going to stand. And now the most important thing is that we have to figure out exactly how we're actually going to make these legs move properly. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I think we might be able to use bars with match rotation disabled. So I think what I want to do now is just shrink these so that way they are no longer touching each other. What up, my dude? You want to be my guinea pig? Sure. <laughs> All right, so let's see if this is actually going to work here. So with match rotation, we're going to place these. Go, there you go. Oh, I actually don't know if the bars are actually going to work, but I really hope so. If I drop this whole thing, uh, that did not go great. <laughs> Okay, I might have messed something up. Okay, so I'm already starting to notice one major problem with using bars, and that is that they they just kind of want to be straight like this. Yeah, I don't really think that's going to work. All right, so I think instead of bars, we're going to have to use hinges. All right. All right, so now that everything has been replaced with hinges, I think all I got to do is simply connect each hinge, and I think we should have a pretty decent structure right here. And yeah, like, I think literally just putting any piece in between these two should do. Yeah, that is literally enough to make them touch. And actually, you know what? That right there is looking even cooler than the other design anyway so i really like this all right let's see if it's actually gonna work though let's drop this and there it is dude that is actually standing and actually i think the most important thing now is that we can just simply move these pieces apart whenever we want to as in imagine our foot moves to the side it actually can all right so there we go now right here in the middle of this build i'm actually gonna build like a little walking around area that i cannot get out of so no matter what i can just simply stand in the middle of this build and walk in any direction and the build should simply just follow around me oh wait actually i think i'm gonna make this out of ice as well just to make sure that it doesn't actually like i don't know just minimal friction all right that looks good all right there we go this is gonna be our like little walking spot we're gonna make sure everything is touching all right there we go and now we're just gonna add a couple decorations to make this little thing look good and actually i think we kind of gotta add like a fish hook to attach to our head so that way we can't actually walk off this thing <laughs> a little something like so yeah a little something like that should do all right then we're gonna take our original build right there and we're gonna have to move it exactly onto our little pod all right that is in the exact center just like so and then somehow we gotta figure out exactly how we can attach blocks to only our leg pieces like each individual one all right so i'll move this whole thing up just so we have a little bit more space so the easiest one is gonna be the feet because we can just go like so there you go right now that is only 
only touching that leg. We're gonna do the same thing for the other one. All right, there you go. That looks good. And we're gonna now have to do the same thing for the ones in the front, which I believe is gonna be the most difficult one to do it with. Okay, I'm gonna try this one out. Did I even... Okay, I got some stuff. I was like gonna say, did I even get anything right? Drop everything. Okay, there is... Oh my God, I actually got everything perfectly except for one, which is the foot on one side. But other than that, I literally got all of them perfectly. Actually, wait, that one looks like it is touching the foot maybe no actually that looks perfect okay sick all right then time to add the different modules that are actually going to make this entire build work so with mash rotation turned off we're gonna have to add a block to each of these as well as each of these here you go all right we're gonna scale these in so that way they are indeed touching all right now we also want to make sure to place one of these with match rotation just like so all right there we go and now all we're gonna have to do is simply link our legs to the correct blocks to actually make sure that I have enough slack before I move this, I'm gonna move the entire part here ways up. So that way the rope will actually have a ton of length to it. So this is gonna be that foot. There you go. And then to place the other one, I'm just simply gonna move this part and then place another one and then move it back. All right, that's perfect. And yeah, we just wanna do this for every single one of these pieces. All right, I think that's everything linked. And then actually the best way to get this down perfectly, I think is by using a spring. So we're gonna place like a big block over this entire thing, like so. We're gonna place a couple of blocks. And then I think we simply place some springs here and all stiffness zero. And I think that should do. All right, all of this here, unanchored. Oh God, oh God, I wait. Wait, minimum length is way too high. Okay, yeah, we, we just wanna let it drop like that. Okay, perfect. And there we go. We now have it back in place. And as you can see, all of these ropes have a bunch of slack. Note for the future, do not set the minimum length to really high. It will literally break everything. <laughs> and I think I can actually test this out now. I might actually have to go without something that goes up top like this and instead goes with something that hooks on below. So that's where I want my glue block to be. That's where I want the block to be, just like so. And then right here, we attach our rope. And yeah, we'll just simply attach this one below. All right, that is perfect. All right, then I think we're actually ready to try this out. Now, I don't think I've ever seen anyone build a walker like this, so I'm really curious to see if it's even going to work. All right, we sit down, we place our glue. Doesn't look right, but I think it should be right because we tested it earlier. So yeah, we did glue our hands shut, but that doesn't really matter. You can anchor all of this, turn off collision. Okay, we are doing things. Okay, so I think we want this rope to have like a pretty short length, like maybe seven. Okay, seven is too little. Okay, nine is good, perfect. So yeah, now we can no longer get off this little pattern in the middle. I think we just unanchor everything. Unanchor. Ah. Oh my God, wait. Oh my God, wait. Our walker is flying. Why why are we flying? <laughs> um <laughs> I've never I have never seen anyone make a flying walker. Wait, how are we flying? I don't understand. I loosen this up a little bit more. Okay. If I loosen the the rope up just a little bit more, we can actually <laughs> get loose. Oh my god, dude. We <laughs> We're actually walking right now. Look at those legs. Dude, the movement is so clean. Now, actually, I think if I hide all of my players' stuff, I think it will look a lot cleaner already. Yeah, like you can actually just see the, the legs walking now and it looks so amazing. That is so cool. And actually, the best part is that you can just simply make the entire thing float. <laughs> like, what? Dude, I've never seen anything like this. 